the first place we start is that the music industry seems to feel that they're alone with this problem. They're not. This problem applies in all, in all parts of the intellectual property world. Um, the newspaper industry is trying to figure out how to get paid for their content, as are magazines, as have we over the years through, through um, still and moving imagery. We think that the first place to start is examine your business model, em embrace other business models, even if they are potentially cannibalistic, that's what we've done. Furthermore, look at your cost base and realize that your cost base may have been set up for an old world. And finally, which may be a little controversial, don't get obsessed with piracy. Create compelling consumer experiences. Give the consumers something that they can't get for free and they will absolutely buy it. And uh, that's been our focus for 15 years in imagery and it's recently becoming more in vogue and more of a focus in the music business. And I would argue that had the music business started with being an openness to change, a willingness to cannibalize themselves, an understanding of new business models and cost problems, we wouldn't be where we are now. Or we'd be further ahead towards a solution. And we're getting close. Well, the broader collaboration is essential. What's basically happened to every content business in the last several years is the fundamentals of content have changed. In the old days, it was a tight control over the supply by a small number of companies exercising undue influence, pressure and control over the talent, in our view. And at the other end of the pipeline was the consumer, but the route to the consumer was severely constrained by the costs of distribution. That's all fundamentally changed, um, thanks to technology and some very innovative business models. So the way we look at it is what we've learnt from our industry can easily be applied. So for example, you give the power to the artist. You allow the artist to retain the copyright. Distribution is ubiquitous. So you don't, you're not going to get a greater customer experience just by virtue of the fact that you're the only person who's got the stuff. And in addition to that, you can work with various different ways to get to the customer, whether it's a, a mobile device, website, and all these new models. And I think the industry is at a very exciting point that a lot of these models are innovative, they're smart, and a lot of them won't work. But that's okay. It's at that early stage. And I think at Medium you can meet a lot of people with a lot of different ideas on how things could work, as well as the establishment of the industry still being here and still being very important.